tanning is a good mitt. Guys, like, whoever doesn't self-tan with a mitt, I, I, like, tell me. Tell me how you do it, because I don't know. Like, you are a whole another kind of person because I've never been able to self tan without getting my hands completely orange it like going everywhere like it being completely like blotchy like whatever like you need to invest in a good applicator mitt like and it'll be such a game changer it's also like when I use a mitt I get kind of lazy and I'm just like like rubbing it all over my body I'm like not even paying attention so good mitt will take your self tanner level, I would say, from here to here. Like, they, there have been moments when I'm, like, don't have a mitt for some reason, and my self tanner just turns out terrible. So, I would say, once you have your Cali Glow, you shake it up really well. So, shake that up. And then, see how it gets, like, really foamy? So, when you actually put it on the mitt it's gonna be like white foam it's not gonna be green you're not gonna be turning green I promise you um and then once you have it on your mitt you're just gonna want to like massage all over your body um if you need a tip for getting your back like the mitt is great you can kind of just like figure it out um it usually like, blends in really nice or you can ask a friend or someone else for help um but yeah, those are basically like the top tips I would say for how to make sure that your self tanner is really staying on and that you're just getting like a good glow overall. Um, another thing that I really love about this self tanner in particular is that 